What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another great day at the Big Daddy Blaze Show. I'm that lovable host you guys keep coming to see, keep subscribing to, and keep giving good comments. Big Daddy, how's everybody doing? Oh my goodness, I love this Rob Dyke contest. If y'all are subscribed, y'all know why. <laughs> But enough about that. I'm gonna try to keep things moving. I'm gonna do the show a little differently. More editing, more I'm gonna stop this video every now and then and jump to the subject so I can have a more smoother kinda, you know, show going for y'all. So hope you guys enjoy and if you don't, let me know. I'm all ears. As you can tell. <laughs> Today's episode is brought to you by Big Daddy's Salty Meatballs. When you want that good old meaty flavor in your mouth, reach over for Big Daddy's sack of salty meatballs. Y'all know you'll like it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and they are organic. Oh yeah. So, moving on, let me touch on a few subjects today. So, today I want to start out with this subject. And it's not a positive one, but it should be something people need to know because it shouldn't happen anymore but anywho let me explain the situation in the New York area a woman charged with beating her teenage son for, to death inside of a church felt helpless to stop an intervention that spiraled into violent punishment by others oh my god why I hate these crazy people the people that give religious people a bad name why because not all religious people think the same way quite frankly even in the Christian community there are different kinds of Christians in Muslim community different kinds of Muslims I mean all around religions are not just one minded one rule one kind of set of people or we wouldn't have so many different religions all praying to the same one God and then they have these little factions these little churches these little individual groups like these people Basically, what happened? They took the ch uh, their one of their ch they have two children, from what I read. They took one of their children, try to make in a group session, try to make him confess to his sins, and they beat him to death while trying to get him to confess to his sins. And oh my God, I'm so angry! Like uh, uh, the kid was only 19 years old, and like the parent, the mother, and the father. Why did I say it like that? <laughs> I'm sorry. The mother and the father are the ones being charged, but there is another group of people in the whole mix that are being charged for the crime. Oh, here we go. Six people were involved in the beating. Six people. People, people are not like this. Crazy people are like this, but this happened in a real rural area of New York. Because if this happened in the city, it would have happened. I mean, we don't have that kind of mentality. <laughs> In real life, some people do. People that live in the outskirts of society, those who live in rural areas where, you know, there's not many eyes looking at you. And, oh my god, it's just so bad. Beat him a child to death. Lady claims by her lawyer that she felt helpless in regards to the group that was beating her. She felt timid. Uh, there was a, the husband wasn't, I don't think, there, but he's being charged too. And it's just horrible. We cannot let these kind of things happen. Quite frankly, I would love for the judge to let me get a confession on them. Because the same method they try to get, get the kid to confess sins, I will get them to confess that they murder somebody. <laughs> Believe me, this is horrible. And we... I don't even know what to say in this situation. I don't even know what to do in this situation. Just letting everybody know that religious people are not like this. Crazy people. Are like this and you don't need religion to be crazy and if you are religious you might not be crazy but if you are uh, crazy you still might be religious you see what I'm saying they're not connected they don't go together people make mistakes and then they are blamed for other things are blamed for the fact that that crazy individual did something so I think it's horrible oh my god my uh, our praises to the kid who died and there was another child a 17 year old brother who is now removed from the situation uh, thank heaven uh, if you want to know more about this it's the article is on uh, the internet and just and I will put a picture of the two parents because they need shame shame the lady's name is Deborah Leonard and the father's name is what is it Bruce Leonard so yeah I'll put a picture for you guys to see. Shame, shame, shame. 
All right, this is some news that I like. Why? Because I feel like my tax dollars are going towards a good cause. But check this out. Um, you, the U.S. President Barack Obama will deploy 300 personnel, military personnel, for, uh, to Cameroon for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance operations against a militia, um, the militia Boko Haram insurgents. Good, good, good. If you guys remember what happened with uh, old man Joe Coney, that was incredibly bad. A person who was able to run amok, get children, uh, make his little militia, make women into prostitutes, that was horrible, horrible, horrible. And it was, I mean, we finally did something about it, but it took a long time to do something about it, and we shouldn't let this happen. What happens when a crazy person starts getting power and, you know, continues to grow and the U.S. doesn't intervene? Adolf Hitler happens. We need to stop that. We need to start as a as the country that always throws itself in these kind of situations. We need to not act too late. We need to. We can't do something when things are getting worse or when things affect us. We should start doing th things when we can. If thing if we see people trying to you know raise militaries, kill others. My biggest thing is innocent people. If innocent people die. Yes, we need to go after you. Why? Because nobody has the right to take somebody else's life. You do have the right to defend yourself. You do have the right to defend somebody who has the uh, who can't defend themselves. What you can do is kill somebody, especially if you're if you have a weapon. But we're not gonna dive in too much into that. All right. This one's a sick one. This one is really, really boils my blood because it involves children again. But anyway, ISIS is now recruiting kids to join their military. ISIS, you know, our right current number one target in the U.S. as of terrorist groups. Yeah, they they're recruiting kids as young as five years old. And there's a video on the internet that you can see about it. But these kids are true. They look small. They look younger than my kids. And my kids are pretty young. And five-year-olds who are... And here's the weird part about it is that not, not all these kids are Muslims. I mean, they ISIS doesn't care. They're taking these kids and brainwashing them, forcefully making them uh, tur uh, leave their religion and turn to uh, become Muslims. And then they're teaching them things like how to slice necks, how to shoot weapons correctly, how to make bombs, how to be um, move tactically, things that no child should know. Why? Because children should not be in a war, for one. Two, what are you going to do? What is this kid going to do in the rest of his life? I mean, I, let's, let's say he the war is won and they win the war. What is he gonna do afterwards? Is he gonna go, you know, sell flowers, sell fruits? No, we're making crazy. Well, we are not. They are. They are making crazy criminals, crazy murderers, and crazy military soldiers who don't want to do this kind of thing. And it's really bad and really sad. And I urge you guys to tell your uh, uh, U.S. leaders to do more about this because. What's going to happen is, if we don't take care of this problem now, we're going to have to deal with those kids later. They will grow up. They will take everything they learn. And since they're brainwashed, they're going to come after us or our soldiers who are, we're sending overseas. You know, it, or even their own civilians, their own people. And we, we don't encourage that, of course. We as Americans want everybody to have the rights to, you know, freedom, liberty, happiness, not death. I don't know. I think it's really bad, but hopefully some more is done about this, and I'm just happy I can bring this back to you in front of you guys. Alright, this is a very interesting one, but I read an article in regards to a lady who has who having issues with her teen, uh, what, tween? I don't even know why that's a category. I remember there were kids and teenagers, but now they're tweens, okay? In between kids and teenagers. But anyway, I don't even want to get into that stupid subject. Oh my gosh, some of your parents piss me off. But anyway, there's an issue going on with a lady who is being told that her daughter is, you know, wearing clothes 
for Halloween that's very pro very sexy clothing. And I fully understand that everybody, uh, all parents have the right to raise their kids however they want, so be it. And I do understand that kids are, you know, want to experiment with the way they dress and present themselves to the world and all that cool, stupid stuff. But at the same time, you're a kid. I don't care what you label yourself as nowadays. You're a kid. Seven years old, 14 years old, 17 years old, you're still a kid. And the thing I'm trying to, I want you guys to understand is you're only a child, and most under, adults understand this, you're only a child once. And once it's gone, it is gone. And it's fun being a child. It's great being a child. I wish there was more to do for children out there in the world, but there isn't. But still, maybe we can do something about that, but that's another subject. So, nevertheless, we cannot make our kids grow up faster than they should. I mean, kids should be having fun, watching movies, parties, dancing, not doing adult stuff like sex, drugs, you know, things like that. It's just, I want, I want society to go back to the age when they don't see these 17 and 14 and 7 year olds as almost adults. You're a child. Quite frankly, when you're 21, I think you're just starting to re uh, open your eyes to life. When you're 21, you don't know much. I mean, you might have a lot of experience and went to school and even graduated college. That doesn't make you an adult. What makes you an adult is the way you live your life, all the lessons you learn, everything com combined to one thing so you can be a better person, a better adult, a better parent, and teach the younger generation. But what are we going to... What are we going to do with a 14-year-old who dresses like a hoochie and then she has a kid at age 18 because it was alright for her to dress like that as a child, so come 18, she's being an adult. What is she going to teach her kid when it's when that child's 8 years old? I was 14, so you're 10. You can wear that kind of stuff. And then her child's going to do the same thing? I was 10, you're 8, so you can dress like that. And at what point is the, the kid line and the adult line? Come on, people. Think about it. And now, to make things better, make things calm down a bit, I bring you guys the joke of the day. And today's joke is actually a funny little situation that happened to a uh, friend. God, I love my friends. They're so funny. But anyway, I found out that one of my friends that I didn't know this works at a department store. I'm not going to say which one. And I asked them, really? Hmm, that's interesting. How long have you been working there? You know what his reply was? His reply was, ever since they threatened to fire me. Gotta love my friends. <laughs> All right. Now this one, this one makes me wonder about people. I mean, where are where are our priorities? But well, there is a new shoe out there that is already messed up. It's a pre-scuff sneaker. It's kind of like the 80s. You guys remember in the 80s they had cut jeans and you were sold cut jeans for a ridiculous price? Well, people are doing it again and now they have shoes that look worn out, scuffed, dirty, and they cost $650. Why are we paying $650 for something that is messed up, looks messed up, or gives you the impression that it's used, worn out, and whatnot? I don't know. Up to you guys to decide. I say we nobody buy this stupid shoe, and we continue to tell uh, these businesses that we want good, clean, brand new stuff, and we refuse to pay money for something that they just threw together for profit. Come on, people, get smart. This is a uh, this article is kind of interesting. But there's a new Wolverine out, and some of you guys might have seen this character, but I'm new to it. I did not know. But they're they're bringing out a female Wolverine character for Marvel Universe. I don't know why. I think you know, based on the article, apparently they wanna, you know, they think that everything should always change, change with the times and whatnot. Okay, that's fine. But making Wolverine a female. Getting rid of the old ring? Uh, 
it's an interesting thing. I don't agree with it, but I guess I don't know. I guess we'll have to see what the future holds. And yeah, that's pretty much it. A female Wolverine. How about this? A female Superwoman. Or a Superwoman. Batwoman. Spiderwoman. Why don't we just take all the male characters and make them female? And let's take all the female characters and make them male. And see how that comic book runs. Just an idea. Just an idea. <laughs> Oh, and now I want to say thank you to all my uh, subscribers and friends that I met through the Rob Dyke co uh, contest. I'm loving everything uh, you guys are putting out. I'm getting very entertained, incredible ideas. If uh, if you're fr this is the first time you guys watch my video, congrats, and hope you guys press that like and subscribe button. I know I do for you guys if you guys want me to. And um, yeah. Keep it moving. And I also want you guys to know that even if you lose, which a good, like, everyone will lose because I'm pretty sure there's only five winners, um, don't give up. Don't quit. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep making these videos. Keep presenting your, you know, ideas to the world. Why? Because it's fun. It's entertaining. And you never know. You might be the only one person with that kind of idea. Or, And not only that, but look at it like this. McDonald's is not the only person that makes um, burgers, but sure enough, they are the biggest ones. But does that mean that nobody else should make burgers and try to make a burger joint? No. Maybe you can make a burger differently. Not better, not worse, differently, and it would work. I mean, we are there are plenty of competitors in the burger market. And the same thing goes for a YouTube video. You might do the same thing, but you might do it in a different way that people would like to see. So keep that in mind and I encourage you guys not to quit because you didn't win the contest and continue to strive to make better quality videos, better content in your videos and just con remember that you we not nobody's doing this for money and if you are you're in the wrong game. And you're doing this because you like this. You like to make videos, you like to make people laugh, you like to put, entertain people and that's what you're doing. And so hopefully none of you guys feel like you, uh, none of you guys feel like you will quit after the contest. So hopefully, I continue to see you guys make new videos, and let me know if you guys want any advice, any any shout outs or anything like that. I'm here for you. I don't have a problem. I enjoy this, and I will be around. Screw the contest, Big Daddy will be around. Oh yeah. <laughs> so now I'm gonna end today's episode with a quote of the day, and today's quote is another one I made. I might have heard it before, but anyway, basically the quote is that it's hard to shine in a lit room, but in all darkness, a little spark is very noticeable. With that said, my friends, I catch you guys later. Oh yeah. We are robots. We are under control by you. We get our eyes from our computers. We are nothing but stupid machines.